I mean, if there's an audience for Modern Warfare 2019, I'll make the odd video and stream. Well, hello. A little bit of an early stream and an unusual stream as well, because I don't normally stream on YouTube, do I? So here we are. Let's see if we can find the game, shall we? One guy there. There she is. There she is. First game on, back with the nuke. Oh my God. There's the nuke. Another one. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> I think he did. No. Oh my god, there's so many of them! What? Um. Oh! Stop it! Get corners, please! Get out of the corner! Get a grip! Get a grip! What are you doing? Why are you sat in a corner? Oh my god! Makes sense. Oh my god, every corner is taken! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Every single corner. Modern Warfare 2019. It has been a while. I've not played the game since October 27th of 2022, to be exact. So we've left the game for about five and a half months now. Give or take a few digits here and there. I've had plenty of time to experience everything that Modern Warfare 2 has to offer, including new things they've added over time. And I can firmly say, in pretty much every sense of the word, Modern Warfare 2 is about 10 steps back from Modern Warfare 2019. Whether that be movement, weapon balancing, map design, game modes and game mode design, playlist design, performance, mouse input, the lot. Pretty much everything is worse apart from a few TLC and quality of life changes. Off the top of my head, these mostly include customizable changes to mantling behavior and such and stuff like that. If I'm going to be fully honest with you, Modern Warfare 2019 feels like it's the sequel to Modern Warfare 2, which is crazy to say. A game that's three years older is honestly better in pretty much every single way as opposed to its successor. I mean, let's look at it this way. In Modern Warfare 2019, you choose a perk loadout for your class and you get the perks from the start of the game. There's no waiting four or five minutes for your perks to charge up and actually become usable or there present on your class. Not only that, but we also have the choice between kill streaks or specialist bonus. It means you can choose whether or not you want all of the perks in the game at eight kills or seven with hardline or a strong set of streaks to use to benefit your team, yourself, or just obliterate the enemies. One of the biggest examples that immediately come to mind, in the sense of 10 steps back, is Ground War. In Modern Warfare 2019, from a functionality point of view, if you approach the middle of the map from every single angle, you're very likely to find somebody to shoot. There are plenty of angles of approach, vehicles to use, cover to make use of in rushing routes, and areas with high kill potential, if you manage to get there. In Modern Warfare 2, there is absolutely none of this. You will see maybe 10, 15 people per game, and I guarantee you, you will be shot and killed by somebody you haven't even seen pretty much instantly. They've abandoned absolutely everything that made Ground War fun in Modern Warfare 2019, and instead made a Ground War that nobody plays because it's boring as hell. Nobody wants to run for five minutes just to die instantly, and get in one gunfight every five minutes, just for the match to finish with the top two players having 10 kills each. That isn't a Call of Duty experience. That isn't a ground war experience in Call of Duty. Not a ground war experience in old Call of Duties or modern Call of Duties. It's not even a Battlefield Conquest experience. You'll see far more action on the biggest maps Battlefield has to offer than you will in Modern Warfare 2's ground war and it's just embarrassing at this point. It's becoming increasingly apparent that the COD devs are very much out of touch with what makes their games fun. It's also quite amusing that a common complaint a common complaint in Modern Warfare 2019 was that there was too much visual recoil and clutter the moment you pull the trigger. Now going back to this game, it seems like nothing's happening when you start firing. 
seems like the guns are extremely stable, no recoil or visual shake, and the clarity is a lot better. That just goes to show how bad it is to fire weapons in Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2019's gunplay is absolutely fantastic. It captures exactly what you'd expect from Call of Duty and rewards you if you're skilled enough to make use of it. Modern Warfare 2019 has an amazing amount of playstyle options for you to choose from. Modern Warfare 2 was marketed as a game made for everybody with playstyles suited for everyone. Yeah, it's one of the most limiting Call of Duties of all time. You can only play Modern Warfare 2 slowly. Modern Warfare 2019? Again, you can choose whatever playstyle you like. Build your weapons however you like and they will all be usable in a specific niche or on a broad spectrum depending on how you set them up. Call of Duty also needs to realise that mill sim games, very few people actually find them fun. Feel free to look at Steam charts for mill sim games, by all means. Most of the games have really small communities and there's a reason for that. The games just aren't consistent fun. Yeah, maybe it's fun to experience on the odd occasion, but overall they're very boring and slow. And the stats don't lie. It's about time the developers stop trying to capitalise on a small, stagnant group or community of Milsim players and instead focus on the large community that just want to have fun. And I've often noticed as well that the people that are defending Modern Warfare 2 and its design choices don't even play the game. Make sense of that what you will. And without any further ado, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the video. If you've enjoyed my rambles and or enjoy the gameplay in the video, make sure to like the video, sub for more, as I do try and post videos frequently. I will be streaming more frequently on YouTube as well, but most of the streams are on Twitch for now. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you in the next one. It's so cringe that they didn't just copy uh, copy this ground war format for Modern Warfare 2. That they tried changing it and just made a cringy shit version of Battlefield. Come on. I should have died there if I'm honest. But in practice... And improved. That way. Oh. Oh. You knew I was looking at you? I mean, if there's an audience for Modern Warfare 2019, I'll make the odd video the stream. All right, we're calling the nuke, unfortunately. Actually, I'm not going to say anything in chat because they report you if you do. Tarak is the worst map I've ever seen. Not really, but it's normally a slower start because my streams are few and far between on YouTube. But I've noticed that on Twitch, I'll get maybe like 80 to 120 views, whereas on YouTube, it could be like 200, 300 sometimes. So there's far more potential on the YouTube side of things. Yeah, I've missed, I've really missed the Uzi for sure. What the hell? Why have we got so many people? Yeah, I was going to say, is that a new, new bug? Yeah, Terak just has no flow to it at all. Way too much open space, um, way too much clutter on the map as well. It's weird. There's, there's too much open space, but at the same time, too much. <sighs> Bring out the old trusty MP5. Hmm. Yeah, it could do. What side are we on? So if they're spawning around B and C, we can get a farm going with uh, the MP5. What the hell? <laughs> Saw a Skypad buff. Fellow Skypad user. Missed the MP5, not gonna lie. On the railing. Hey, RL with the 50? The hell? That's crazy. Over four years of being a member. One second. Oh, the jump cucked me. Wait, it stopped me dead. <sighs> I think that should be an obvious answer. Tehan. There isn't a single person that exists that would uh, prefer Modern Warfare 2 over this game. If they do, if they say they do, it's because they don't exist, alright? Trust me. Google made AI. Go on my left as well. Gonna pistol him. Oh! Enemies on B or C? Or oh, neither. Guy down here on my left. Three, two, one. Ah! 
if we hide here? Reloading. They're gonna come from there? What do you reckon? They're coming that way? How do you know? Hooligan? Where are you going? Wait. Wait. What? Man's footsteps vanished. Leave me alone! Is that a guy? What's a guy? He'll probably run into that. I can't hit this guy! You saw nothing, okay? Ah! Nah, I'm missing those shots and he's got an LMG. Found you. Right back there. Found you as well. Is that a guy? No. Friendly shooting up. Bitches! What are you doing? Right below. Oh my god! There's the nuke! Another one! Even with a guy hunting me down like crazy. <sighs> what an honor to see you live, man. Been a long time sub. Hey, nuke media. Appreciate it, mate. You do know I stream on uh, Twitch, right? Normally, at least. I don't even get the urge, to be honest, from watching streams and videos. It just looks dull. What's that, Modern Warfare 2? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You still haven't bought it. Yeah, save your money, bro. Even with ranked, it's not... Even with ranked, it's not interesting. Take my word for it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but imagine being able to run around people like this. I've missed it. Shame that I froze there, but... <laughs> it's it's nice just chilling, dude. Modern Warfare 2 got me so used to a constant sweat fest that I, I've forgotten what it's like to just run around and use core mechanics to outplay people, I suppose. Yo, Ethan with the $5. Thank you, mate. Imagine if they kept this movement. If they did, the game would have been so much better. Like, Modern Warfare 2 might have been playable, but, you know, the problem is, is that the audience is predominantly controller players. This isn't slander for a change, by the way. It's, it's crazy how good the mouse input is in this game as well. Oh no, I complained a lot in this Call of Duty green prod. An absolute ton. But the problem is that I played this game for, I want to say, three years straight, and it just kept getting to me. Experiencing the same bugs, problems, and silly design flaws over and over again will ruin anyone's mental health. No, realistically, this was solid game, just obviously catered to casuals quite a lot, which generally speaking is COD normally, but as the game progressed on, it got more and more casualized. Uh. <laughs> Man, this guy wants me dead. I respect the hustle, but I'm using stopping power, so the unfair advantage. He got me there. The 725 ruined this game big time. The shotguns, way too overpowered. And then them adding, them adding flame shotguns ruined the game big time as well. Like too many noob friendly things in this video game. Use them because I could keep looping them. Like crazy. You get awesome clips like that, right? You know, it's, it's it's they're kind of addictive in a way. Because if you make good use of the amount of bullets you have, with stopping power, you're going to obliterate everybody. You're 
There's no denying they're a bit too overpowered. A lot of people in here. Barely see you. There's a guy with a suppressed weapon behind us. There's a guy back there. Oh! Where are you? How do you see me? Okay. Well, GG's. <laughs> uh, I'm a wrist aimer, smirk. There's still beams. My word. Tango down. In the building? Outside the building? In the heady? Dead? What are they doing? Oh my word. You're in the corner, you b- <laughs> What was he doing there? 24 kills already though, that's mental. Everyone welcome Freebie in chat. And optimized my PC the other day, getting everything working smoothly. And oh my god. I've been able to have the games I'm playing at higher settings, right? But better frames than I had at lower settings. Mental. I uh, literally studied your videos when you uploaded a lot. I learned so much in this game from you and people say, gee, that's awesome, mate. Fighting the good fight. Boom. Hear him above me. Damn. Guy above me again. Love how you can slide upstairs. Oh. Yeah. Right down here on my left. What are you doing here? There's someone out there. Right, just resetting spawns quickly by avoiding them for a moment. I've got to climb up the ladder. I don't often do this, but... Almost blew myself up. That's fine, though. Go pick up an easy kill here. I have one back there. I'm dead. Yep, I get stabbed. Nice. Nobody behind me. Nobody there. They've got to be... Oh, hello. What are you doing there? It's so much easier to aim in this game than Modern Warfare 22. Or Modern Warfare 2 rather. Okay, I just run at you, I suppose. Enemy uh. Um. Woo. I'm dead. Are you fucking serious? Dude. Ah, too low of a grenade throw. That's an actual human being, apparently. Right behind me. 
Running. Oh! Please. Whoop. Okay, we're alive. Guy behind the wall. What? They gave up? What? Why'd you stop looking for me? Alright, are there. They should be near me here. There she is! Yeah! <laughs> 20 points. <laughs> we let him cook. That should have been a triple nuke this round, honestly. That could have been a triple nuke, rather. Not bad, though. We still nuked. Ooh. <laughs> GG's. Sorry about the language. <laughs> Again, frustrating to uh, get stabbed on a streak. Hello there, it's time to give a quick shout out to all of my YouTube members. You're all helping make this full-time content creation dream a reality. And of course, an extra special thank you goes out to my God Mode members, NRTX Dragon and Cooldy. Thank you all for your continued support. You guys are a massive help to the channel. And if anybody else wants to become a member to gain access to emotes and perks, you can find it in the description about midway down. Thank you very much and see you later.